one, we are live. Alrighty. Just want to double check my phone, make sure we're good to go. All right, showing me line. All right. Okay. And we should be good to go. I don't see us, though, on my stream. All right. Well, it says that we are live and we have people watching. Hey, if you're watching, please put a comment section below. Um, to let us know where you're from, where you're at, and uh, so we can shout you out. So if you're watching, please put a comment section below to let us know who's watching, where you're at, and where you're from. And I'm with the lovely Serena Brown, uh, daughter of Les Brown a uh, best-selling author and author of The Perfect Penny. Thank you for joining us today, Serena. Oh, listen, thank you for having me and thank you for what you do on all of your streams, which have been so encouraging and inspiring throughout this entire year. Lord knows we've needed it. <laughs> thank, you, thank you so much, thank you so much. And I wanted to do something special for episode 200 of our 365 days. Um, and I did it and I joined this mission to be consistent constantly and to challenge myself to always, because it's the habits that we create that create success in our lives. Listen, so, uh, and because you, listen, because of you, I'm like, wait a minute, is he really going to do this thing every day? I've been watching, right? I, <laughs> I've been watching, I'm like, there is no way. And then when, when the COVID season happened and the lockdown happened, I still see your handsome face up, <laughs> happen, still giving us inspiration. So, Listen, you have absolutely been amazing, and I appreciate you and your consistency. Trust you. We're watching. Thank you. <laughs> that is awesome. That's so humble to hear. Uh, you know, sometimes I just want to challenge me. You know, the biggest obstacle is is us, right? Like your dad said, there's no enemy within. The enemy outside could do us no harm. That's so it. I got to fight the enemy within, and that's why I do it. Uh, so excellent. So again, this is Daily Motivation, 300 day, 65 days of consistency doing the same things over and over again till they become habit. So again, if you just tuned in, please put your uh, comments in the comment section below so we can shout you out. And again, I'm here with the lovely Serena Brown, daughter of Les Brown and CEO of the Les Brown Maximum Achievement Team. And so Serena, today I wanted to help our audience, since you are a best-selling author of The Perfect Penny, what tips would you give to an up-and-comer inspiring aspiring author who wants to be in the same seat that you're in now. Right. Well, let me first say that I would want you to follow your voice. So whatever whatever you feel is being deposited in your spirit, whatever component about your story that you feel as if can help someone else, I would say to follow your voice. Don't try to mimic anyone else. Don't try to do what other people do. You can only do you. <laughs> and yeah. I love young people. They say, do you, boo. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't try to do anything extra. But then the other component that I would like to kind of stress is to also use the story that you're, you're most embarrassed about. One thing that I heard, uh, and it really inspired me, and it said that God will use everything that you try to bury. And so a lot mm. of people love to, you know, have, have the fluff of their story and, and to make them look good. But the fact of the matter is there were things in my life that I personally tried to bury and, you know, put far, far, far behind me. And then I realized as I was writing, I had to go ahead and dig up those things because it kept talking to me. It kept speaking to me. And so what I would urge you to do is to use everything that you've tried to bury. God will have a unique, a unique way of using that in your life. And so I encourage you to do that as well. Wow. That is tremendous, tremendous, tremendous advice. Um, as, as you probably know, I wrote the book, The Nerd Who Saved the Universe. Yes. Uh, and it, listen, and it's phenomenal. <laughs> not only did you write that, you have a CD. Well, this is how you know we're, we're old. We're calling I'm calling it a CD. You have a download oh, that, yeah. is, <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. And I can tell that you spent years and years and years studying so many people across so many different, of course, all self-improvement, self self-development. 
But I mean, it is really kind of almost like a dictionary per se. I mean, I would literally urge anyone to go to your CD first, <laughs> your <laughs> album first, to get their feet wet to try to figure out where they want to go and how they want to continue to expand their mind. So kudos mm -hmm. to you in, in your nerd project book and, and all of the other ventures that you do. When they first came out, I purchased it because I'm like, let me let me hear, <laughs> let me hear what he's doing. And you are the real <laughs> deal. <laughs> you are the real deal. Uh, appreciate that. Just keeps that humbles me. My, you know, I'm smiling from ear to ear right now. Hearing hearing, hearing that coming from you is a big deal to me. Thank you. Well, you know, one one of the things my father says is there is no success without successors, and so I know mm. that you studied my father as well as other people in the industry, and I know for sure that if it's left up to you to carry the torch as well as some other people that he has personally mentored, then the personal development industry is in good shape. Ah. Uh. That, you know, she keeps, I'm going to have a blushing. I'm going to, you know, <laughs> black me about to blush right here <laughs> with all these amazing compliments. Uh, but thank you. And I just want to drive your point home really quick for the audience that using your struggle mm -hmm. to create your project is just so powerful. And even when I was so nervous when I came up with the nerd, but as a middle schooler, I grew up in a tough area where if you didn't have the, the name brand clothes, you didn't, uh, wasn't making like, you wasn't hustling. You know, I had guys hustle right on my, right in front of my house. And if you weren't that type of guy, you were a target. I remember I used to hide my books for school because if they saw, you know, you, you can't read a big old book bag, they start grabbing you from the book bag. Like, man, what you got these books? Of? I, I remember I went through all of it and I remember feeling very alone at the time, but bringing this book out of me was like therapeutic was therapeutic and i knew that god used those events to create something to help other kids in the future so right, right. and so the, no listen thank, i think honestly thank you thank you for not being ashamed and embarrassed of your story and for doing the hard work and and i can say that i've been with you with doing hard work you know ideally you would say oh hey this is the, the daughter of the legendary motivational speaker les brown what does she know about pain or struggle or self-esteem mm. development? But the fact of the matter is that is how Perfect Penny um, came to be, is I had to realize when I look back and had to dig up my stuff is that I was also the recipient of, of negative words and the recipient of people just saying any and everything to me. And it affected me differently. I know people say, well, listen, your father said, never let someone's opinion of you become your reality. Yeah, that was good that he said that, but it didn't penetrate me. The negative words that were around me had more of an impact than the positive words that my father was speaking on a national, international level. And so as embarrassing as it is for me to say, hey, my name is Serena Brown Travis. I'm the daughter of Les Brown, and I suffered from depression and low self-esteem, and I didn't see anything good about myself. It's embarrassing, but at the same time, it's also liberating because mm -hmm. now I get to, to, to show people you can even look like you have it all together. You can look like you come from a family that has good sense and mm -hmm. still have the exact same struggles. But the good news, there is hope you can become delivered and your your struggle will indeed you know, yield to potentially your success. Oh, man. Beautiful. I, hey, if you hear this, please, please put something in the comment section below. Please like and share this page. This is so powerful. And this is something that many people need to hear, because I think we look at people that has, have a certain platform or a certain success and we think, oh, they must have it perfectly. But it's good to hear that nobody has it perfectly. <laughs> no, no. Not one person on has it perfectly. And that's OK as long as we're growing from it and we're helping other people, I think that is what it's all about. Absolutely. Sarita, I, I truly, truly thank you so much. And I just wanna give one last tip for all the people that are watching today. That's something that helped me become an author and be consistent. Again, this is all about consistency. What helps me become consistent is this thing right here is called a Right to Grow Rich Daily Planner. Mm -hmm. I actually created this for uh, myself. I created this for myself so I could be consistent and write every single day. I had a mentor tell me, you know, I told him, hey, I want to be a great writer. He says, OK, write. And it was a very simple advice. <laughs> you know, this guy is great. I think, you know, he's going to be some, some very profound, right? Some real deep gem. He said, right. I said, OK. <laughs> but understand, as I got older and more mature, I started to understand what he meant by that. 
that you have to become who you want to be. Mm -hmm. And how do you become that is being that person you want to be. I know it sounds very convoluted, but it's very found advice that if you do the things that, hey, if you want to be an Olympic track runner, do the things an Olympic track runner does mm -hmm. <laughs> every single day. So if you want to be a writer, a writer writes every single day, or at least I try to do 1500 words a week, That's which is not even that, not even that much, yeah. but it's the practice time. Absolutely. Well, I must say now I have a bone to pick with you because I thought I had all of your products and now you just done pulled something out the clear blue sky. So I expect to see a purchase link at some point. This week. <laughs> yeah. okay. I'm doing, all right. You got it. You got it. Currently, I'm doing it off my website, and but it will be on Amazon very soon. Uh, right. But if you are interested, go to the link I actually put in the chat box. Go to the link I put in the chat box. And you can get a direct copy where I have a discounted, and I'll give you the code. The code is, uh, I'll tell you in a little bit, but right. <laughs> I'll put in the chat box the code, and you get actually a discounted price for anyone that watches today. Right. But this is one thing that helps me is a planner. And inside this planner, I have motivational quotes. And I have a schedule throughout the month of what you're going to do per month and per week, because it's the consistency. If you wrote just maybe a page, an, a paragraph, a sentence a day, before you know it, another book will come out of you. Another book will come out of you. Another book come out of you. And that's how we get better as writers: is the more books you have, the more catalog you have, the more people say, "Wow, this guy must actually know what he's doing or she's doing." And so that will help you gain more audience, help you with your marketing and become another best-selling author. So, so Serena, I, I thank you again so much. This was this was incredible. Uh, this was actually a, a dream, a, meta, a visualization of mine for some time. So to see it come to fruition is just, it's incredible. And I got a big smile on my face. So thank you for, for being a part of this. All right, I mean, well, listen, I appreciate you. And I've, I've actually gained some nuggets from you. So I'll be going to your website soon. I know you'll be uploading the discount code very soon. Yes. <laughs> right after this, I'm gonna put it on the chat box. Do Everybody watching, look at the chat box and I'll put the discount code for that daily planner. Do that now. Listen, I know that you will be one of the people that will carry my father's voice much further and, and to reach far more people than he ever has. And so I appreciate you, um, you know, staying true to yourself, not giving up, being that bully kid that still figured out a way to come out on the other side. So I appreciate you and can't, can't wait to read more of your material. Thank you. Thank you so much. And lastly, before we go, I have to do a quick commercial. I do have a writing event this January, uh, July 25th. So if you go to my, and I put that link as well on here, but I have a workshop where I help people write, publish, uh, and get the book out of them using your subconscious mind, using the things I've learned from your father, from Napoleon Hill and all my great mentors. Because if it doesn't, if it's not in the subconscious mind, you won't bring it back out of your conscious mind. It, has to, it has to be something that's a part of you. And I teach you all the techniques and tricks that I use to, to keep being relentless, to keep being, keep seeing my face. As long as you're going to keep seeing my face, if nothing else fails, is just keep seeing my face. And that came from just reaching my subconscious mind. So if you are interested, I'll put the link below, July 25th, July 25th, July 25th, come check out the workshop. It'll be well worth it. And it'll be something that'll help bring that out of you and help you help you reach a level at least that I'm at and hopefully even for you reach the level that Serena is as well. So thank you very much. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, thank you so much again for the opportunity. Thank you. And I look forward to us staying connected. Yeah, absolutely. You have a great and happy birthday to your daughter thank again. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.